YouTube, Aqua here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are um, finishing that unboxing of Theros Beyond Death booster box with the addition of a collector's booster. So this is the very last pack that we will go ahead and undo. And actually, I will do this separately from this, because these packs are going to take up pretty much this entire space on this mat. This, I think I'm going to have to do each card individually to see where it is. So, let's get right down into it and finish up this booster box. Okay, I'll set these off to the side. Not so high to stack, so I don't damage them. Here we go. Pack numero uno for this second video. Alright. Three... Six and nine and ten. Okay. Oop, oop. I think I might have I might have miscounted on one of them. Oh, oop, come on, uncommons. Don't spread all over the pace. And then our uncommons are Devour of Memory, Cling to Dust, and Rise to Glory. And then our first rare of the second half of the box is Pophoros's Intervention. We'll go ahead and stick that right over there. And we'll stick that right there for right now. And we'll move that over. There we go. And then we got our foot art land and then our token. On to the second pack. Oh, come on. Don't be stubborn. There we go. And this pack is being stubborn. Being really stubborn. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Alright, let's see where we're at. Token. Yep, human soldier. Full art land. Ooh, another forest. And then... Three. Six. Unknown shores. Put that off to the side. That's nine. So we have a foil in this pack. Awesome. And our uncommons are Heroes of the Revel, uh, Theranati Singer, and Siona, Captain of the Pilus. Our, ooh, a Mythic Rare. Furbos uh, is Bronze Blooded. Ooh, and then a foil rare of Hakaros the Unscarred. Ooh, that's that might be worth a little bit. Not sure if the god will be worth a little bit. We'll find out in a bit when we price everything at the end of this video to show you how much this whole box is worth. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to put the Mythic Rare right below. We'll put the Foil right below that. That wasn't too bad of a pack on that one. I'll take that pack. I'll gladly take that pack. All right. So, busting into our next pack. Another human soldier token. Okay, I think they're trying to tell me something with this box. And then, oh, full art land. Ooh, is an island this time. And three commons. Three commons. Three commons. Ten commons. All right, and then those are the uncommons, and we have our third temple of the seat from everything that I've unboxed so far. So I already know that's a couple of bucks right there. So that is another good pack. I think that's the first actual dual land that I pulled out of this box, which is kind of ironic how I already have... That's my third one, and this is the first booster box that I've already opened. Uh, all right. So, last card is another human soldier. Full art land is an island. And then three, six, nine, ten. Ah, ten regular. And then an island of obstruction is our... Uh, rare, but Warden of the Chained, Medom Medomai's Prophecy, and Lagona 
band storyteller are the uncommons. Alrighty. Whew. Yeah, basically you can never go wrong with dual lands. Dual dual lands will always keep their value for the most part. Uh, another human soldier token. Full art land is a plains. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten commons. So, Phalanx Tactics, Daxios, and Escape Velocity is our uncommons. But our second mythic rare pull is Elspeth Nun's. Wow, Sun's Nemesis. Holy crap. So we have two different Elspaths at this moment because of the Elspath Planeswalker booster deck. So that should be worth a little more than what the $5 Sun, uh, the $5 starter pack is. We will go ahead and take a look at that price officially at the end of this video. Holy moly. Holy moly. That was a good pull. So far, this second half of the box is making up for the first half. <laughs> Alrighty. Last card. Another human soldier. So, yeah, you know, I should have guessed with the human soldiers that I should have got, that I should should have been expecting Elspeth at some point. Alright, and then the full land. Oops, sorry for the shakiness. Got another... Planes and three, six, nine, and ten. And you know what? That came out of a ten pack too, didn't it? It did. Ten common pack that came out of. That's kind of cool. All right, then Meyer Triton, Nessie and Wander, and the Triumph Annex is our other uncommon. And then I am happy to see a second Shadow Spear. I am going to be using that in my decks. As for what kind of deck I am building at the moment, I don't know. I gotta take a look at all my mythics and rares to see kind of which way I want to go. I have no idea at this moment, but I know I will be using the two shadow spears because those are completely and utterly worth it in any deck. Alrighty, do 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 do. On to the next pack, and actually, I'm gonna put that right next to Elspeth because that Shadow Spear is sexy. Which I think that's either a five or six dollar card, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm definitely getting my value in this pack so far. All right, last card is another Human Soldier. Are they gonna give me another Elspeth? Get two Elspeths in one box? That'd be kind of crazy. Um, full Art Land, which I didn't do yet. There's the Forest. All right, three. Six and nine. Ten commons. Okay. Another ten common pack. I think I might have already burned through all the foils in this box in that first half of the video. So I think I might have kind of balanced out. So, on commons, a, mischief, a mischievous chimera. Inevitable end. The binding of titans. I haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. And then a Nessian boar. I don't think a Nessian boar is worth that much, but we'll see it. That's a five drop for a ten six. Holy crap! I'll have to I'll have to take a look at the price on that one afterwards. Ah, da, 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 da. All right, on to the next pack here. Uh, another human soldier token. <laughs> All right, we got a forest as a land. And then, three, six, nine, and ten comments again. Alright, and then our uncommons are Acolyte of Affliction, Impending Doom, Underworld Fires, and then our rare is a Mantle of the Wolf. Hmm. Interesting. Some of these I haven't seen before. Oh, man. 
All right, keep them going down in these booster packs here. Oh, excuse me. A little bit gassy there for a second, sorry. All right, last one. Another human soldier. And the planes again. All right. So, let's see. Three, six, nine, and... 10. All right, and our uncoupments are Annex Harden in the Forge, The Birth of Miletus, Rise to Glory, and Labyrinth of Sifokanos. That's not actually not too bad of a land removal card. I kind of like that. Alrighty. Oh, this is... It seems like this is an interesting set. Huh. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Alrighty. Let's see, last card is a throwaway card. Which means land is an island. Well, I guess that doesn't mean it's an island, but... You throw away cards, you still have the full art island behind it. Alright, so... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight... And... Nine... Ten. Alright, so standard pack here. Our uncommons are Setsi and Petitioner, Whirlwind Denial, and... Underworld Dreams. And then, ooh, we have a Temple of Malice. Ooh, I like that. I like the Temple Land of Malice. Well, I think I'm going to build a Red Black Duck. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, 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 surprise. I am looking what I'm seeing. Um, may I, I may splash blue, I'm not too sure. I may have to build a white weenie duck just for the hell of it, because El I got two Elspaths. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, another human soldier. And a forest for the full art land. So let's get into the pack. Three, six, nine, and ten. All right, and then we have a Nyx Herald, Staggering Insight, Blood Aspirant, and then an Archon of Sun's Grace for our rare. Let's see how much that will be in a few. All right. All right, the last card is a Pegasus token. Ooh, kind of changing it up there a little bit. Kind of liking that. Got that full art mountain. Three, six, unknown shores off the side. And I lost count of the commons, but I think it's 10 pack. Yeah, it looks like it's 10 for the uncommons. Or not uncommons, 10 for the commons. Our uncommons are Mystic Repeal, Mirror Shield, Hero of the Winds, and our rare is Astra of the Endless Web. So we'll put her right there. Put these uncommons in the uncommon pile. Alrighty. I think we have four packs left right now. That's what it looks like. Yep, four packs after this one. So we're getting there. Last card is a throwaway card. Got the full art island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. Ooh, we got a foil in this pack. Awesome. On commons, Ferris Brand Baller, Elspeth's Nightmare. Sea Gods, Scorn, and Protean Thaumaturge is our blue 
rare. And then our foil is Aspect of Lamprey, a black common foil. I think the Protean Thaumaturge might be going for something. I'm not 100% positive on that, so we'll see here in a few when I press everything out from these bucks. All right. All right, last card, Seder Token. There's got to be a card that makes Seders. i got to figure out which one it is. And then we got our Full Art Swamp. Three, six, nine, and ten. Then the uncommons are Banishing Light, Inevitable End, and the Binding of Titans. And then Temple of Plenty is our rare, so that's worth something. So we got a couple of land rares in here that are worth something. So that's good. That at least assures the value of some of these cards. Third to last pack for the box. Last card is a human soldier. And then a full art foil. Or not full art foil. Full art forest. Then three, six, nine, and ten. And then... Dreamstalker Manticore is our uncommon. Tamaret. Ooh, alternate art version Tamaret. I'm going to have to pull that out. And then Favorite of Iros is the other uncommon. Then E2 Extension Extinction are, is my other rare. All right. Yeah, I got to pull these out separate because... Getting these in a standard pack are kind of rare. I think this is the second alternate art. No, the third alternate art that we got out of this box. Alrighty. Last card is a gold token. The art is an island. Or not the art. The land is a full art island. All right, three commons, three commons, three commons, and that last one is number 10. Then the uncommons hero of Nyxborn, Stinging Lionfish, Hydra's Growth, and then we have a Phoenix of Ash as our rare, which I think I am doing red-black, because I think I may have the cards for it. All right, and then our last pack of the booster box. Here we go. Then we'll price everything out. Then I'll move on to the booster box or the booster pack. All right, last one's a human soldier again. Full art planes. And three, six. And then 10. All right. So we have Fraka Sprawn, Hero of the Winds, Nissian Wanderer, and a Nightmare Shepherd, which I think was five bucks. Because we already had one of those. But I will gladly take that. I'll set that down there. And we will go ahead and start pricing out all of these cards. Just let me get the commons out to the UE. Nice big stack of commons over there. And a nice big stack of uncommons. Uh, the uncommons are a little bit more manageable than the uncommons. Or, wow. I had that reversed. I'm doing everything in reverse when it comes to commons and commons. Ugh. The big stack is commons. The manageable stack is uncommons. I don't know why I keep tripping up over all that crap. And we'll get these lands out of the way. Get the full art. Out to the here. Alrighty. It's actually, I might, I might be able to. Yeah, you know what? I'm still gonna, I'm gonna do it. 
Actually, no, I'm not, because that way I can actually figure out the price. I will just leave that right there for right now. I'll figure out the price of this whole box right now. Alrighty. So, let's start with per Perfophos. Per uh, I can't say Greek sounding names at all. Alright, that is a mythic red. Do, 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 do. Bottom bump bottom. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. And we'll go to red. Alrighty. So, Perforos, the bronze blooded, is a $5 card. I'll gladly take that. Alrighty, so plus five. And Perforos is intervention. Let's see here. Is a fifty cent card. Oh, oh crap. Plus five plus point five plus Alrighty, so Temple of Deceit. And I actually I will do all the temples together because that they're right in kind of the same area for where they are on uh, Star City. Well, uh, actually, Nessie and Boar right here is a 50 cent one, so I can put Nessie and Boar down, which is this one right here. That's a 50 cent right, right there. And then 17. All right, so I have a Temple of Deceit, Temple of Malice, and a Temple of Plenty. So Temple of Deceit standard is two. Ah, oh, pooey. Plus two. Temple of Plenty or Malice is not. Malice is not. So it's another two dollar one. And then Temple of Plenty is a buck fifty. Ooh. Man, they really tanked the price on these cards from yeah, dang it, man. Well, at least I get a couple bucks out of them. So. Alright, and then Elspeth is a mythic. So. We'll switch that up for mythic rare. For white. Sun's Nemesis is an $8 mythic rare. I will gladly take that. Alright. So that's Elspeth. Shadow Spear I know is already five. Edelin of Obstruction. Let's see here. Edelin of Obstruction is a 50 cent rare. Uh, we already did Nessian Boar. So we will do Mantle of the Wolf next, which is green. A green rare, so that's right here. Mantle of the Wolf looks like it might only be a 50 cent rare. Yep, 50 cents. So, 
So next is Arcana of Sun's Grace. And dang it. Okay. Well, the good thing is with it starting with A, it's going to be at the beginning. So I don't have to do too much. There we go. It's a dollar. I will gladly take a dollar. Plus. And then Arata of the Endless Web would be actually. Fifty cents. Alrighty. And then eat in extinct uh eat to extent extinction. Alright, it is a black card. And that is a dollar fifty. I will gladly take dollar fifty. And then move down the Phoenix of Ash. Which is right here. So we're kind of basically just going. Kind of did a little circle. And then now we're just going up and down. Alrighty. There's the reed. Phoenix of Ash is. A $2 card. Which means it's probably got play in standard. Cool. Alright we're going to do protein thaumaturge. So that's going to be blue. Like I said, I thought Protein Thaumaturge was worth something. Nope, I lied. Protein Thaumaturge is only 50 cents. <laughs> and then we go to the Labyrinth of Skosphos, which is a land. Or not. Alrighty. I'll clear that out. Then basic land. Let's see if it's in two. It is not. Alright. So we'll go back to rare. And then, let's see, that is Labyrinth, so that should be somewhere in the middle, I think. And so let's try nine then. Page nine. Labyrinth of Fulcanos. 50 cents. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. And then, Nightmare Shepherd. Is three bucks okay? So I lied. Plus three and Tamara and oh, uh, Hakatos. Let's see what Hakatos. There we go. Is it Hakatos? This foil one right here is a two dollar card. I'll gladly take the two dollars. And let's see what Tamara. Does let's see here. Tamarant is black, and it's uncommon, not rare. All righty, and let's go to two. Let's see the alternate art of Tamaret, which is non foil, is 75 cents. So we will do plus 0.75. So, altogether, this deck, this box wasn't too bad, considering how much cards have tanked in price for the most part. I think the thing that really saved me was the Elspeth here. But. So far, or not so far, the total of this booster box is $82. So it's a little, the second half was a little bit less than what the first half 
of the box was. But I am not too terribly disappointed. If you can... People were saying... I know some people online were saying that if you get above $70 in a booster box, you're doing okay. So, I mean... Having... Getting $82 out of this booster box is not too bad. It kind of disappoints me until the days... Uh, were the days uh, in past where you could pick up a booster box. And half the time you can easily get your value back from the box. Nowadays with this the collector's edition of version of the set. I'm not too sure... I don't know if they're going to continue doing the collector boosters. We'll see what Wizards of the Coast does. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get in into this very last pack of Theros Beyond Death. We'll see what how this pack is broken down. I'm not sure how this pack is broken down. So we'll go ahead and see. I think... All righty. All righty. Okay, so looks like we they give us a set of commons to start off with. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put these commons out. I don't know if these guys are gonna be worth anything, but we'll take a look. And they give us another planes. I know that's gonna not gonna be much worth anything. Alright. Then some uncommon. Uh, Careless Celebrant. We got our, oh, well, we got a couple foil full. Alright, so. Okay. We have another Ashiac Sculptor of Fears. But it's not foil. We have a full alternate art of Atreus, Oracle of Half Truths. Got a full alternate art. Foil of Thrix. We got a foil human soldier, and then on the back a foil tentacle. So we'll see how much that is worth. And we have a foil Daxios alternate art. And then we have a, uh, an alternate art of Perforos. So that's an interesting uh, pack right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'll start with the Uncommon, since I already have Uncommon pulled up. Uh, Daxios is white. Do, 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 do. So, uh, I don't, yeah, Daxios is foil too. Alright. Here we go. Daxios. It's only 50 cents. That's kind of depressing. All right, I'm actually gonna go for the foils or the rares now, and then I'll do the two mythics last. All righty, so we'll do rare, blue. We'll see how much Thrix is with that full art. Uh, let's see here. All right, the full extended art foils is actually fifteen dollars. Wow. Okay, I will gladly take that. I will gladly take that fifteen dollar card right there. Cool. Alrighty, uh, we're gonna move on to Artress then next. Let's see what Artress's full art. Oracle of Half Truths. Uh, that is not foil, it's just an alternate art. So that is a $4 card. Okay, so that's 20 bucks right there. That's almost worth the pack I paid for itself. And then let's see Ashiok. Planeswalker. 
that would be mythic. But do I have any more rares? I just have the mythic rare full art of Perforos. All right, so let's go to the mythics now, then. And that's going, should just about wrap. Actually, you know what? I want to see how much the foil pentacle is worth. I'm just kind of curious. Uh, mythic rare. All right, Ashiac, Nightmare, Muse, or is it, no, it's Sculptor of Fears. Oh, you know what, I think I got gypped. I thought, I think they were supposed to put, uh, because they gave me a Sculptor of Fears, and I think they were supposed to give me a Nightmare Muse. Oh, man, that kind of makes me sad. Oh, man. They gave me a copy of the freaking... Oh, the Planeswalker deck. I didn't want one. Oh, man. That makes me so depressed right now. <laughs> uh, but I'm... Yeah, I am. Because it's not even foil. It's just... It's just a regular Ashiac. Oh, it's not even the foil version like the uh, the inner the introductory pack is. That's ridiculous. Uh, that makes me sad because <laughs> that's only a four dollar card. But all things considered, that's twenty five dollars right there. <laughs> all right, let's see what Perforos is, which is right over here. So we'll see how much that one is. So P is probably in the middle. We'll see number four. Nope, oh, we'll see number five then. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. That's the foil alternate, alternate art. Is that... So $6 here. So that's the $6 mythic. Okay. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I think I'm... I think I actually am going to be buying a... Uh, collector's edition box with my tax return i don't know we'll we'll see i'll see how i'm i'll see how i'm feeling afterwards but right again we got another six we have six hours here so this is like a this was a 30 dollar card pack which i really am not too disappointed with but one last thing i just wanted to see what this tentacle and human soldier card is worth Alrighty. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, they don't have them full. They don't have them foil. Let's see if they aren't. They're on a TCG trader real quick. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. TCG player back up go do 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 we'll get in here what a magic there's beyond death uh da, 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 da. Tentacle token match together. <laughs> oh, let's see. Do they have a foil price for it? No, they don't. Oh, I'll, I'll just say we'll do 50 cents for that. Because it's got the two different tokens foilized. The human soldier and the tentacle. Alrighty. I just find it funny they actually had to make a tentacle token. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, and others. Tell me what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. Tell me if I should pick up a collector's booster box and unbox that. And see what we can, what kind of value we actually get out of that. Uh, 
if you want to leave a com oh, I already said that. Ugh, I'm getting tired. If you guys want to, if you like the video, go ahead, please hit that like button. And if you liked what you've seen on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And you'll get notifications when I post new videos on the channel. I would very much appreciate it. So guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen and others, this is Aqua signing off.